Hello everybody. It's been quite a little while since I've been on here, basically since, I don't know, um, mid-October. Um, I was participating in the 30 Days of Sketches in October, and I managed to do maybe the first 10 days of layouts with a process video, but after that, we started getting pretty hard into our home renovation, and so I could not do videos for process. So, we're finally finished and I wanted to come on and show you what I did for the 30 days of sketches. So there are all 30 of my um, layouts here. I'll get through as many as I can without making the video too super long. I may have to split it um, just to make sure uh, we can look at all of it. So, um, all right, let me get started. So the first one was the sketch by Rachel Gilliand. I guess that's what, how her name is. I apologize for this. Um, shadow. Um, I'm going to have to figure out a different setup because when we remodeled, I redid my light so I could see better and now it casts a shadow. So I apologize for that. But anyway, this was day one's sketch and um, I deviated from the sketch quite a bit. I did not do the hexagons that it showed. I just did one little stripe down here and then I did my butterflies and mixed media in the background. This was uh, an older hip kit club kit that I had just pieces left of. I had these these butterflies all cut out and then I just had very little bit of the paper. And so I put together this little uh, layout just to finish up that kit. So that was day ones and this one did have a process video. Uh, this is day two and the sketch was by Jess Hill. So this is what the sketch looked like. Um, Jessica Fenhill was her name. And this one I did of our recent trip this summer. I've been doing a lot of pages from our Memphis trip, and so you'll see quite a bit of those um, pictures. This is when my husband and I were um, in Overton Square, um, like the little shopping area. Um, so uh, we were just walking around, literally, so that's why it's walking in Memphis. This was another hip kit that I had just a little bit left of, and I decided to go ahead and fussy cut. Um, I don't remember what collection this was, as I only had just a little bit left. Um, when I do know what the collection was, I will tell you. Um, and also, I wrote it down on some of my little sheets so I could remember. Um, so I just did just a little bit of the big flower clusters up here instead of putting three more pictures i decided to do a shaker pocket and then my my journaling up there about when it was and what we were doing and then i do have a little bit of mixed media here in the background you could probably see if i move it around so that is day two day three was a sketch by susan l this was a really neat sketch i enjoyed this one after a while look at this beautiful paper in the background I'd been saving this paper for a while. Um, this was, um, it's not 49 Market, uh, it's the other one. I'll tell you if I can remember it when it, Minte, it's a Minte. And this was part of, I think, a Not Just For Boys Kit Club kit that I had. And this, again, was another Killa Kit type of thing. Um, I just had a few sheets left, a few little flowers left, and so I fussy cut those out. Um, this cut file also came with that kit. So I think I ended up killing that too. I did a lot of killing kits in this 30 days of sketches, which was really exciting. I went through a lot of stash. So these were pictures of my son and his girlfriend when they went to Las Vegas to visit my other son. And um, they went out to Red Rock Canyon and they took these pictures. And I, I really liked how they turned out. They were really cute. I liked the contrast between, you know, the browns with this blue here. So that was really fun. Uh, this also has a little bit of shimmers in the background, like a gold colored shimmers. And I did use some of my Scrap and Happy Studio flare in here. I guess it's just one right there. So this was a fun layout too. This one also has all of these so far have a process video for them. Day four was by Miss Carrie. And this one I had a lot of fun with. Um, this one again was uh, a leftovers of uh, one of my, um, mm, mm, mm. I'm forgetting. It's very early for me. And so my brain is is going to sleep. But this is one of my kits and this was a Vicki Booten 
this was my daughter's school picture for this year. I don't, I don't generally buy school pictures because I don't usually like how they turn out. So I just take my own pictures, the ones I want to display at home. But they had sent this proof and I just thought it was hilarious because she, you know, she's 16. So she has kind of decided she doesn't smile anymore, <laughs> as, as you may know if you have a teenager. So I created this layout um, with one of my leftover kits. I literally just had scraps like this and I just used what I could. So this is mostly Vicki Booten. There might be a little bit of Paige Evans in here too. I am not quite sure, but I kind of like... I put my Vicky Booten and Paige Evans together and I just kind of mixed them a lot. So this one was a lot of fun. I did some mixed media in the background and just kind of had a lot of fun with that. Scrap room. That's the kid I could not remember for a moment. There you go, brain. It has woken up, maybe. Um, so here's this one. That one also has a process video. Day five is by Christine Steele Harden. And um, I love to watch Christine's videos. So um, she's one of my daily watches. She created this layout. And again, I did this using one of my scrap room kits. Um, a, another one that I think that I was down to the bare minimum of. And so um, I was trying to use it up. This is again, our trip to Memphis. This was the city of Memphis and this was the Mississippi River. And this is us at the top of, I think it, um, uh, Bass Pro Shop. I think that's what it is. It's like the largest one. Um, it's, it's shaped like a big like pyramid. It was a really cool place, but they had an observation deck where you could go and you could see the city, the whole city, and you could see the Mississippi River. So we decided to splurge and go up on that observation deck. And that was really fun. Uh, this one was just a simple layout. Again, like I said, just using up stash. Um, I don't remember who, what the, um, the collection is that this was, but it was from one of my scrap room kits. It was just some scraps left. And I did, again, do some Scrap and Hempy Studio Flare with this one. Okay, so day six, here is our sketch. I'm not gonna butcher her name again, but there she is down there. Um, this one I do have another video for, and this one was sweet. I think this is Echo Park, um, a, an Echo Park collection. I did have it through um, one of my kit clubs again. And this one is just pictures of my son when he was smaller and we were just at a park taking photos of the kids. Like, you know how I said I don't buy the school photos, this was me taking photos to hang up on my wall. And um, I just, even though he's wearing orange, not yellow, I liked how the yellow and black in here helped that orange to pop in his shirt. And this is just a really sweet page. I thought this one was a lot of fun and I really, really enjoyed this kit a lot. So this scrap room kit was from this summer, I think. So um, I really loved this one. When else are you gonna use bees? I don't I don't raise bees, don't do anything like that. So um, I decided to use this cute little bee paper for these pictures of my son. Oh, and I did have some canvas flares from Scrap and Happy Studios. There is a process video for that page as well. This is day seven. Um, and this is by Cheryl Ashcraft. That's the sketch. And for this one, I used another scrap room kit. Um, maybe you can tell by looking at it, who it is I can't remember what the collection is again um using up stash but um I I pulled from all over in my stash these these came from someplace else they were not from the kit the title was not from the kit this flower was not from the kit I just started pulling stuff from all over the place um so this was again another picture of us in Memphis we were at Graceland and we were eating at one of the diners there and um yeah, so this is how this one came out. This one has a process video as well. I probably have some more information about the collection on that process video that you can look at there. Okay, so this is day eight. And day eight is one of my favorites. Um, I was actually just watching the process video yesterday of this one with some family. So um, this one is 49 in market. This is actually a Christmas collection, which you can probably tell that it looks kind of Christmassy, but it's just a picture of my dad at Bucky's, which he loves to go to Bucky's when he visits us in Texas. And I had been really wanting to use this kit 
Um, as soon as I saw this uh, truck at Bucky's and we got this picture, I remembered this Christmas kit, this 49 and Market kit. And um, so I pulled that out. I have the whole collection from that and I was dying to use it. So this was the first thing, a non-Christmas layout that I used this Christmas kit for. But it was really fun. I loved all the layers. I did just a little bit of mixed media in the background just for a little something. And um, I like how that one turned out. It was really cute. That one, yes, like I said, there's a process video for that. Day nine should also have a process video. Here's the sketch. And this one, I kind of, so the sketch looked like they wanted you to do like maybe a bunch of little photos. Instead of doing that, I decided to use uh, this piece of paper from um, Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Berry Fields. It just looks like a quilted paper. And so instead of all of the photos and all the blocks doing them myself, I just used this paper. I kind of cheated just a little bit. But this was just a picture of my family when we were traveling up to uh, Michigan to see more family. We stopped to see my husband's brother who lived in Indiana at the time. So this is, this is all that collection. Um, I didn't stray from it. I have quite a bit of it. The adhesive brads, the puffies all of, or the foam titles, all of the things. So this is Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Berry Fields. And this is day 10, which I believe might be the last day that I have a process video for. Here's the um, sketch. And this one is another scrap room kit that I had. Again, sorry, didn't write down the collection uh, that it was from. Um, this one had like those circles in the background. So I decided to do mixed media for those. I used a stencil and then some paste and pressed the paste through like modeling paste. And then I used my shimmers and just kind of dabbed on top of that to give kind of like the sheen that you could see in the background. Hopefully you can see it. And then I just sprinkled around some flowers that I fussy cut. And this was a photo of my family before church one day when my kiddos were little before we had our daughter. So um, there's that one, and I got something stuck on my dress. There we go, and there's that, that's day 10. You see, we're at about 12 minutes, so I'll give a couple more minutes and then we'll break. Okay, so this is day 11. This one does not have a process video. This was about when we started um, getting heavy into that renovation. This is just some pictures of my son meeting my daughter for the first time. She was adopted from South Korea, and so this was the first time that they met her. Um, this was again using one of my scrap room kits. I was doing my best to use up as much as possible. So um, I just pulled from whatever came in that kit. It had some of these foam stickers. It had um, some ephemera pieces and um, a few more little stickers here. And I think that turned out, I liked the idea of the great big tag. And then I just used some twine here that I had, hemp twine that I had. So that one turned out cute and it was quite simple uh, to do. And then we've got day 12. This was by Sandra Lee. Um, and so this one, another, um, I think this is Echo Park again. Yes, I, I think so. I think this is Echo Park. This was another scrap room kit. And I did throw in um, a little Scrap and Happy Studio flare, but this is a pretty simple kit. I loved this little um, camera paper. And then I just kind of built up these clusters. There's kind of a lot of dimension in them, uh, but I thought these things were really cute, but I was like, I didn't want to make a shaker pocket and I didn't want to not use them. I just thought they were adorable. So I just popped them up and then just layered on top. This is just a picture of my two oldest sons um, just at this little play place that we had in, in one of those little helicopters that kind of moves. We probably didn't pay for it to move. They just liked getting in it. So that is day 12. And this one would be day 13, or no, I'm sorry, this might be. Oh, this one is a two pager. Okay, so this is <clears throat> day 13 and this is a two pager right here. I used um, the Scrap Room's Pink Fresh Lovely Blooms. There, I wrote it down. And this was documenting our trip to Graceland. So this was page one. I put the little flyer that we got and it has a little map of the grounds so that you know where you can go. So I put that in there. I put one of the tickets for it and then just some um, embellishments here and there. Just really simple first page. And then the second page here is where I put all of our photos. Sorry for the glare. 
Um, it's mostly photos. I kept to pretty much the design that she had there and I was able to get a whole lot. I've got two, four, five, six, seven, eight photos on, nine photos on one page. So that was a really fun sketch. Um, I don't do a whole lot of two pagers anymore, but I went ahead and I did it this time. So um, that was that one. Okay, let me see. All right, we're at 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video there. And then I will come back and make a second video just because it's easier to upload when it's shorter. And I'll get y'all with the rest later. Thanks for looking.